like a root. He's heading your way. Yeah, and he will be coming in to take a time stop. Look who else is coming. Franchitti out on the grass. Pushed out there. Tears something up under, under the under tray of the car. It will be a time stop. But for, Doug, but for Scott Dixon, look to be fuel only. They're reporting us no tires. Looking to see there is wing damage on Dario Frank. Look at her. Quick hot car. Here he is. Well, they continue to work on Frank Kitty's car. Kanan is off and away. You can see they're going to have to replace that entire nose. That all because he had a foray into the grass and everybody locked it up to get down that 60 mile an hour speed limit. Well, Jackie actually hit the cone that marks the entry point of where they begin the timing at 60 miles an hour into pit lane. So they make as quick a change as possible. But remember all this. Oh, and Danica has spun it coming out of the pits. And the yellow is out if she can keep the car fired. No, she can't. So Danica had a great shot there. But our third yellow now comes out. Look at the family. That's her sister to the right. Unfortunately, because in the situation, if you were just pitting, you leave the pit lane as you look at her husband, Paul Hosenthal. What you're trying to do, remember, try to make up time on the pit exit. With cold tires, full fuel, the car is really a handful. So we are under our third caution, and we talked about this treacherous pit lane entrance and exit. Vince, you've got more? Well, I just want to make uh, the point, those were not cold tires. She took on uh, just fuel. They did not change the rubber when she came down here on that stop. So maybe they cool off a bit, Scott, but uh, they did not put on fresh tires. It was fuel only for Danica. And I know that we're going to look back uh, at the Dario Franchini incident, and Danica actually is the car that, uh, almost collided with Dario that uh, forced him to go out into the grass. So it's certainly been a, uh, an eventful last couple of minutes for Danica Patrick. Well, Vince, it all seemed to go wrong for Andretti Green Racing right there. You can see the new nose is already on the 27 car, but great information that she did not take on new tires. It's just simply a case of probably trying to get back out onto the track as quickly as possible. Now here coming in, you can see the three cars there, Dixon, and then Danica Patrick, the car on the outside, trying to get around Danica Patrick because he's probably coming in a little faster than Danica was, the 27 machine of Dario Franchitti, and he takes out the timing cone, Marty, on the way in. And I, I'm sure she probably doesn't even know he's there. Uh, take a look at it from this end. Well, he's trying to make up time. Remember, you can go as fast as you possibly can up into that cone that he just hit. At the beginning of that cone, it's 60 miles an hour. She looked like she was being just a little conservative on the way in, and he's trying to make up time just nowhere to go yeah all right here is Danica coming out of pit lane and you talked about it earlier well and with warm tires on there again what you're trying to do is make up some time coming out of pit lane they leave the warm tires on because we've only got less than 20 laps left on the event uh, there you go oh oh and she just oh, spun it and hit the wall how did this happen there's her father, uh, TJ, right there in the middle of the screen. I don't know what happened there either. We're done. You okay? That's her sister, Brooke, on the right. Husband, Paul Hospital in the middle. Well, I'll wait for the safety crews. And this day is over. So what looked promising has turned into a disaster. Well, in the first one, she was right because warm tires, you know, the team leaves those on so you can go out there and leave the pit lane faster than you would on cold. And in that situation, the car just came around on her. But Vince Welsh, you have more in Danica now? Well, you see, as baffled as she looks, and the crew has the same look on their face. They were over the wall waiting on her to come back into the pits because she had flat spotted the tires on the way out on the initial spin. So they were going to have to put four tires back on the car. They were waiting uh, over the wall, waiting on her to come in. And they saw on the big screen here the contact that she made. They were all as baffled as she seemed to be on the radio. So... Definitely not finishing up the way Danica or T.J. Patrick was expecting here at Kentucky. All right. Well, let's see what we have on tape. Let's go back and, well, actually, this is just the aftermath. Boy, this one's got me stymied. It really does. We'll have to see if we get some more information on that. But she was seventh in points, and she's always talked about trying to make sure that she can continue in the points battle and here we are with Danica on the first spin there again this is when she was trying to leave after the first pit stop but just getting going, fuel and then here's the second one that we're going to look at now she's on track let's listen 
Oh, oh, she got hit or something, or something broke, guys. Something broke. And she almost hit the, the truck. safety car. I have no yeah. idea what happened. Something was on the truck. Yeah, she, it sounds like she did run something over. I wonder if we could do that one more time, guys. Yeah, I'd love to. And then we'll sit back and just listen with everybody. And we heard a thump. And we'll look ahead and see if uh, we can see anything on the track. All right, uh, before we do that, let's uh, check in with Vince Welch. Kim Green, uh, we were just listening to the onboard, and it sounded as though something may have broken on the car. Did you get any indication before that contact? I mean, hindsight's probably 2020. I suspect we flat spotted the tire pretty good. You know, to be honest, I probably didn't do it. We were still showing tire pressure on all our tire pressure sensors. I probably didn't do a good job of coaching her to go slowly around the, until the pits opened, and so we probably popped a right rear tire, I would guess. Uh, that's the only indication we have. We don't know for sure. We didn't have a good day in the pits either. We made some mistakes there. So uh, had a pretty fast race car, so not a good finish. And Danica did a much better job than where we ended up, and we're sorry. We probably put her in the fence, not Danica. There you have it, Kim Green. Uh, tough luck. Tough finding some good luck uh, for this seven car. All right. Well, while all this is going on, we also point out that A.J. Foyt the fourth is shown in the race lead. They say that he came through the blend line before Tony Kanaan and Scott Dixon and Marco Andretti. They are second, third, and fourth. All right. Let's go back one more time to Danica's incident. The sit out. We'll listen together. Yeah, probably a tire. I think Kim Green's assessment is no probably the best idea. But you know, the luck with that whole situation, I know she's upset, but she missed the safety vehicle, which is someone's looking over for her on that one. Well, it sounded, he said the right rear, and you can see there's not a whole lot of that tire left. So that might be the best uh, thing that we have. And again, remember, it was flat spotted, so uh, not, not the fault of the tire by any stretch of the imagination, but it just didn't have enough left in it for her to get back to pit lane. So another tough break, another heartbreak for Danica Patrick. But meanwhile, as you look at the reaction of the family, it may be a big celebration for A.J. Foyt IV. He's in the lead.